What's going on everybody? First name Mr. Last Name Red. How you doing? I'm back. I'm back everyone. And man, my glasses is filthy. Y'all should have told me before I pressed record, but we're gonna go live. Now before I begin this video, man, I just had to put a little disclaimer and just update everyone what's going on in my life. I haven't updated a video in like well over a month. And uh, reason being, man, I needed a break, to be honest with you. And it's nothing to do with like the amount of views that I have with the channel. I know I'm a growing channel. And you know, it's, it's a step up over and over in order for me to grow. And I know it's not just gonna come over time, but it was more so just like, I love watching anime at my leisure, I love it. And what kind of was like the tipping point, and this isn't, you know, to make the person feel bad, but someone said that they're like, they started One Piece at the same time I did. And they were like on episode 200 and I'm still like on 26. But when I watch anime leisurely, I can binge through a whole entire series in two days. Like I literally started Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood uh, on Sunday and I'm on part four already, just binging through it. But when you're actually recording for YouTube and editing and doing all that, it's a whole different ball game altogether. Like you actually have to record the audio, do that, upload it, edit it, blah, 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 blah. And that takes time to do. So, you know, I took some time off just to put myself in the right mental space and really just um, jump into it. So if you're wondering where the other half of JoJo Bizarre Adventure is for Starters Crusaders, I'm gonna be honest, unless people really wanna see my post reaction of it, it's not gonna happen. I finished it, the show on my own. It was part of my protest to myself mentally and I ended up finishing the series on my own. JoJo's the man, Dio's not the man. So I'm on part three. And with part three also comes with the commentary that, you know, I know that part five is about to come out in December. I wanna be able to start part five the same time as everyone else is. Um, I've got a lot of friends who are doing it. You know, your boy Roshi, he's about to go ahead and jump on there as soon as it pops off too. And I wanna be able to do it alongside everyone else and really join into the commentary. Henceforth, we're on part three A Diamonds Unbreakable. No idea what's gonna go on, but if you're new to this channel, folks, sorry this is the first time you ever hear me go blase, blase, blase. But you know, I had to let that out for my people that do watch my channel. So um, without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and jump on to Season 3, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamonds and Unbreakable, Episode 1. Looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's go without any emotion, man, because I'm getting my words jumbled up. Let's get it, guys. Boy, ain't nothing better than some bacon and eggs. Already starting to show off right. And look at that toast, man. The animation and change. The toast is looking toasty. Toasty. Some little bass going on. Okay. Whoa. 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 That was out of nowhere. Well, that's a hell of an introduction. Ah, look at Joe Taro. He got his new swag on. Wonder how long has it been since um, Stardust Crusaders? I like his new outfit. I mean, it's not as uh, swagged out as his old outfit, but it's still up there. He's still handsome. The color palettes are very different than the last time, too. I mean, the sky is yellow. I actually saw some of the live action of this uh, series too. Wasn't that bad. Sorry, I like his little introduction there. Oh, he is short. Jeez. A good guy, Jojo. Now, I know they made them like super. Well, not skinny, but, you know, he's not as bulking as he was before. He's still got that height. Jozenji? Is that the guy's name? Jozenji? Ah, thank you. So he's 28. Man, it's been some time since Stardust Crusaders. So, of course, he's dressed differently. He's not going to school anymore. I swear, it's... The thugs in anime is all have the same light tone. <laughs> I shouldn't have said, I hope I didn't offend anyone like that. But you know, they, they be having that tone. I love it. 
Oh, man. I just know from pictures that this is the new JoJo, but what's going on? He doesn't look like an overbearing beast of a JoJo here. Oh, so he's a first-year kid? Does that mean like a freshman? Like he's 14 or something? Yo, what you doing with the turtle? Why are you doing, why are you doing it like that? Oh! Bruh! Oh! You gonna slap my boy? Nah, man. Don't let him talk to you like that. Oh! You killed the turtle! Oh! What's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Oh! What a... Dang. Joe Taro's like, whatever, dude. So that is the JoJo. So is that like Joe Taro's like... I should have no idea. I don't know how they could be related. That's not his son. Is, he... is that what it takes to piss you off? Talking about his hair? Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, of course he's got... <laughs> he beat the blocks on that boy. <laughs> He hit him with that critical hit. Well, he slapped the taste out of that boy's mouth. Dang. Oh, yeah, you look like a piggy now. I like how he just turns into a badass after just being so pacifist. Out of nowhere. So his stand has the power to heal people? Joseph? Joseph? Your dad is Joseph? Wait, what? So he had another son. Man, he was an old man doing this. He had an affair when he was 62? Joseph. Joseph, what you doing, dog? Nephew. That would make him his nephew because he's a direct descendant of Joseph. That is weird. He's older. Oh, God, Susie Q. Susie probably beat the brakes off of him. What you sorry for? It ain't your fault. Yeah, it's really not your fault, man. He's really accepting of the circumstances. Like, he's not mad or anything. Like, he was just accepting. Oh, he's got the JoJo charm, of course, as usual. It took everything in him to not be like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> their faces don't talk about his hair man already learning about this he don't play about that hair that's his one thing is that his hair Ooh, you messing with the wrong one you messing with the wrong one ah there he is well, so I wonder what his stand's name is oh he got the <laughs> He got that punch of fury too. He can't stop time though. What's up with the hat? <laughs> you can't fight like him though, boy. You know what that mean? Oh, see, he didn't curse at him. He's got a little bit cleaner than before. And he messed up your hat, bro. Beating up your uncle. Oh, I forgot you're like the... So you're like the speed wagon of this season? What is that? A tragedy is coming upon this town. What the hell is that? So 
So where's why he come down himself? I guess he's just too old to travel. So you you just told him to warn him of that, like not to do anything about it. Yeah, he's got to be able to like. Is he's either able to like reverse time on like objects or heal them? One of the two. I mean, the dude looks evil and ugly, so he's definitely a JoJo villain. I can't read that. What's his stand name? <laughs> uh oh. Wait, that's him. That's him. And that's. Anjuro Katagur. Angelo, thank you. We'll call him Angelo. Golly. Oh, see, I don't play about that. Yeah, that guy is evil. Evil. Rape is evil, man. So what makes this guy such a big threat? Like, does he have a stand? Yeah, he's got to have a stand. There's no other way he would have survived being hung. It doesn't really matter that you're an illegitimate child, man. It happens. I, it happens, man. It's not about how you were born, but what you do during the life that you have. That's what's important. Okay. What? There's it's some e it's some real evil in this town. Why don't they just shoot him? Shoot him! Oh, the color palette change is about to go. It's about to go down. Well, that's all it takes. That's his trigger. So the lady being held hostage didn't piss you off, but the hair did. Oh, he got that walk. <laughs> He got that JoJo walk. Yeah, he about to beat you to a pulp. He ain't gonna use that knife. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, what the? Punched the hole through the woman, too. Wait, what? What is this guy's powers? Can he reverse time? That's what that's got. That has to be it. He can reverse time. That would really hurt. A knife in the stomach? He, I'm convinced now. He can reverse time. That's what this is. What the hell? Oh, uh, here we go. They didn't waste any time. So the guy does have a stand. It's a little nasty too, went in the sewer. Hey, what you arresting me for? Guess it, all they saw was him walk up to him and then a knife ended up in his stomach. Wait, but he was also able to... That kid was able to see that, too, wasn't he? Because he's the one who made that commentary. Well, maybe he's being coy, or he doesn't know that he has a stand. Oh, Jotaro? <laughs> Jotaro living grand, boy. He got that good hotel. What you mean? They got money. Hey, man, don't you even think about it. Ah, oh, you're gonna attack his mom? Wow. Man, the series 
Diamond's Unbreakable, man, is interesting, man. The main character's main thing is don't mess with his hair. Don't mess with his hair. He's going to come for you. But, you know, I'm, I'm liking the... It's, it's a whole new theme, a whole new concept. They're, they're attacking a lot different than they did before. So it's different, man. Uh, I, I just want to know what this new villain's about, man. What's his agenda? And is he What is he trying to do here? Is he really the main villain or is it leading to something else too? But as usual, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I really am happy to be back and record more content. The goal is just to knock out this whole series within the remainder of the month. And then we can jump on to the next series of JoJo right before um, Stone Ocean. But other than that, I look forward to the very next video. You guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Mr. Red signing out. Peace.